Hey, good afternoon, family. Pastor Artie here with uh, Pointing the Way in the Word. Oh, man. You know what? Uh, this, this thing is annoying. It really is. It is the most uncomfortable thing I've ever had to have on me or in me. <laughs> it is a rhino rocket and it stops bleeding and I have to leave it in for a week so hopefully this Monday I get it taken out by my ENT and they can do whatever they got to do to make sure I don't bleed anymore because when I bleed it lasts for anywhere from anywhere from 8 to 12 hours and that's a long time and that's a lot of blood um, a lot of times I have to get a blood transfusion afterwards so it's really annoying so if you can just keep me in prayer, I would appreciate it. But that leads me to the topic of the study today. Uh, we're talking about what we go through as Christians. And, you know, I have a lot of things going on. And a lot of people have said, you know what, Pastor Artie? You go through so much. It's amazing. My ex-fiance once said you know what if there's anything that can happen to you it happens to you <laughs> and you know what she's right it it, it does and uh, the thing is is that I don't even pay attention to it sometimes and I think the reason is is because when we go through stuff we tend to think that God has given up on us and that uh, he has turned his back on us but really he hasn't if anything he is paying you a compliment by allowing these things to happen to you they happen to you but not for you because God sees you in a different light go with me to Job chapter 1 verse 8 and it says then the Lord said unto Satan have you considered my servant Job for there is none like him on earth he is blameless or perfect and upright a man who fears God and shuns evil or ensues evil you know totally turns away from it doesn't doesn't give wind to it doesn't accept it and you know what that's true you know in my life I've gone through quite a few things but I've never let those things weigh me down I've never let those things take hold and done the poor pitiful me's. You can ask anybody. They, they'll all tell you, you know, he doesn't give in to the problems that he goes through. Matter of fact, if anything, I find that they're a great talking point to share the Lord with others. You see our uprightness and our commitment to God is far beyond what we can say. And the thing is, is that God recognizes that. He says right there in that verse, have you considered my servant? You know, there's things about Job that you just don't know. Number one, he loves me. He thinks highly of me. He's not going to turn his back on me. And he's not going to turn to evil because of things that happened to him. So you can do whatever you want, but you can't kill him. You can vex him, you can do things to him, and look at Job, look at all he went through. He lost his family, his possessions, everything, he was taken down, he was, he was, he had boils, he was in, in sackcloth and ashes on the side of the road. 
he was put to total poverty, but yet he never turned his back on God. He continued to witness no matter what. And that's how I am. I will continue to do the job that God has called me to do. I'm not going to give up on it. You know, I got this in my nose. I got chronic kidney disease. I have prostate cancer. I had diabetes. I have neuropathy in my feet. All these things, but yet they don't stop me. I keep on going. And those of you who know me, you know how determined I am to continue on. I'm not going to let little things get to me, especially things that have to do with my health. Because, see, my health to me is nothing compared to the glory that God has for me in the end times. Today, family, are you being troubled by things physically, mentally? Are things just seem like they go wrong? Look at Job. Consider his servant. That's what you are. You're his servant. So let them consider you. Let Satan consider you. And let him do his darndest to tear you down. Because there is nothing on this earth that can cause me to turn my back on God. Not a thing. Not rhino rockets. Not kidney disease. Not neuropathy. Not prostate cancer. Nothing. I'm getting treated for everything. There is always a way out. God said, I have given you a way out. And he does. And if that way out is death, well, so be it. Guess what? I go on to a heavenly mansion. What do I care? It's all good. And it's all in God's will. Just look at what he says about Job. He's blameless. He's perfect. And he shuns evil. He ensueth not evil. He doesn't give air to it. Neither do I. There are things that happen in this world, but there's nothing that could turn me from the love of Christ. Because I don't know anything more than that. Christ and Him crucified. That's all I know. And there's a whole study in that. But today, family, if you're going through things, don't let it trouble you. They're temporal. They're only for a season. This too shall pass. But in everything, I'm going to give God the glory. I'm going to thank him for all that he's done and all he'll continue to do. How about you? Today, family, keep your eyes focused on God. It tells you in Proverbs, He'll keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind stayed upon Him. In other words, don't look to anything else except Christ and Him crucified. May God bless you today. May He keep you. May He make His face to shine upon you. May He give you peace as you seek to serve Him in all that you do. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.